it's, it's tough to put into words. I've never had a period like this where I have not been involved in athletics in any way, whether it was coaching all the years that I coached or going to watch games of young student athletes or even watching games on TV. I mean, it's, it's really, really an odd time. And I, I miss it tremendously. Um, and I believe uh, all the athletic directors and coaches I talk to, they're, they're chomping at the bit. Uh, I would say, um, you know, I have open line of communication. Some of them I talk to a lot more than others. We do Zoom calls here and there. I also do Zoom calls with uh, ADs from around the state. And I've, golly, the last two months I've done probably more webinars than I've ever even thought I'd ever do. Uh, but uh, locally here, I mean, I, it's an open line of communication. I call them, they call me. But, uh, again, we have some scheduled Zoom calls here and there. I, I guess I won't say weird, but it was just uh, an a different thought for me that the High School Athletic Association was still going to try to do the basketball championship uh, with kids having two months off. Yeah. So yeah. when that changed and then they canceled all the sports, it really, you know, changed things. Because I was, I was hoping that somehow spring sports were going to happen. Uh, there were several rumors out there, but they were talking about playing spring sports until the middle of June. So I was hoping, you know, May 15th when that first date came around that, hey, we can cram in some conference games and then they can start with some state playoffs. But um, when, they, when they came down and said, we're not, and it's canceled, that was, uh, I, you just feel for so many people who put so much time and effort into everything uh, and their families, uh, it's just heartbreaking. Uh, for that to happen. I mean, everybody understands, at least I hope so, but it, it's, it's just such a, a heartbreaking thing that had to happen. Yeah, that probably depends on the school, um, but it, it's still, you know, it, some schools, heck yeah, it puts a heck of a dent into it. Um, other schools, you know, it, it's kind of, you know, just keep chugging along because they're trying to be as equal with all the student athletes as they can be uh, and providing them everything they can. Well, that's a, that's a good question because there's so many things that our coaches and student athletes are not used to. Um, we talk about cleaning equipment all the time, um, uh, getting their temperature checked, having a, a question and answer kind of system. Uh, and I'm just basically thinking about what the National Federation of High Schools came out with, uh, the, their guidance on, on all of that. So it's just a, a lot. I mean, especially if, you know, you still have to maintain social distancing, if you're in phase one, phase two, whatever. Uh, they even gave different ideas for different sports on what they're supposed to do and you can't share a ball. I mean, it's just a bunch of different stuff that I've never thought that we would have to consider, but obviously we do now. Well, first, I, I truly hope there is, but obviously we're always gonna err on the side of caution. And uh, the High School Athletic Association, when they spoke to us, they basically discussed, um, you know, they they're leaving everything on the table. There are several options that might have to eventually be considered if we keep pushing things back. Uh, so, you know, I truly hope that we can, but obviously we have to be as safe as possible. Well, I mean, it, they're waiting just like the high school people. Um, but, you know, we also, besides just following the High School Athletic Association with middle school, we have to follow DPI, Department of Public Instruction. Yeah. So uh, we're always listening to both of them. And when I send out uh, most of the emails to my athletic directors, I send it to both high school and middle school because all of them need to know exactly what's going on with uh, any up-to-date type of news. So um, right now they're, they're on a wait and see kind of thing also. And, um, 
we just finished ordering a bunch of different uh, like cleaning supplies and also uh, non-contact thermometers just to try to make sure we're ahead of the game if, if that's what's required. I, I don't know if you've seen the article that the uh, National Federation of High Schools, uh, I think she's a executive director or something, Dr. Carissa Niehoff. Mm -hmm. If you have not seen her article that came out yesterday, it was absolutely fantastic, I thought. Uh, it just shows how important um, high school athletics and other, you know, performing arts are to our young people, and I would even extend that to middle schools. Um, the the relationships that they get with each other, uh, and obviously with their coaches, is, you know, it's something that they're going to remember for the rest of their lives. And um, most of the examples I believe that people would come up with are are very positive about their experience at the middle school or high school level. So I, you know, I, she said in there that we should be, could be uh, the national model. And I, I agree with her on that because, you know, with everything going on these days, you know, I, I, we're all about student athletes. So, I mean, it, I, I, I miss our coaches being able to talk to our kids face to face versus on a zoom call or something like that. And, and just to, to work things out with them, to talk things out with them, to, you know, let them voice their opinions, all, all that stuff. And it, right now it's just a difficult time where we're not able to do that as well. I've reached out here in the last, week or so I, i've reached out to several of my former players and i mean it's this is a, a tough time um but we all need to to love on each other and we all need to make sure that everybody knows that we care about each other and it's that, that's what i i wanted all my former players to know about and obviously i want all of my ad's and coaches and people i work with to feel the same way.